Cherokee Prophecy of the Rattlesnake The stars above and its configurations hold time and time within its grasp upon all life. As cultures sustain a zodiac system written upon time and time, so also the Chickamauga and Cherokee of the Americas hold an ancient zodiac of the heavens. Within the zodiac of the heavens of the Chickamauga Cherokee are etched ancient designs written upon and within the lines of seeing. The Cherokee zodiac is alive and moves and spins upon the rings of time and time. As the main outline retains its hold and is stationed in the sky of stars, its movement within that frozen outline does indeed change within the movements of the other elements. Elements within the rotations, planets, stars, and bodies of the heavens. As other cultures station their zodiac as a permanent fixture, the Cherokee zodiac morphs or changes and becomes as if alive. Always alive, breathes, lives, and takes upon each constellation its own deeming of things, time, and time, and among those things, prophecy. The constellations of the Chickamauga and Cherokee are thirteenfold and contain the characterizations of mainly animals. Among the many design configurations seen written upon the stars are the designs of animals, objects, and many other elements of time and time. The figures of the sky are totally different from other cultures of the zodiac, except for a rare few which seem to be similar. The only one which seems to relative to similarity is found within the Cherokee constellation Scorpion and Snake, and this in relation to others as Scorpio and Serpent. This is the story of only one of those constellations. This is of the Cherokee constellation Rattlesnake, and within this one constellation is found a prophecy. Within the Rattlesnake of the Heavens is found time and time, foretold since the dawn of time. In the sky is found the figure of a snake, and upon this snake is the outline of a rattlesnake. Sometimes the serpent and the rattlesnake take on bearing of one or the other, but the snake of the rattlesnake is its design. The Cherokee rattlesnake constellation is not like other cultures of the world. The Cherokee rattlesnake in the heavens has a head and winds itself back and forth with its body as if sidewinding itself to its tail. The boundary of the rattlesnake is unlike the boundaries of other zodiac cultures in that in the heavens the Pleiades star system is found at the tip of the rattlesnake tail. The rattlesnake of the Cherokee is very sacred and its sacredness is written even in the heavens. Upon the mouth of the rattlesnake is found 52 scales. These scales in number 52 are written upon the calendar of the Cherokee and upon the wheels and rings of time and time. The calendar of the Cherokee spins upon wheels and rings as a sophisticated dating system. A dating system that not only tells time of events, people, places, and things, but also a very holy and sacred element within the Cherokee culture itself of all things. The rattlesnake can sometimes be imaged as a serpent. To be a serpent or to be the rattlesnake depends on the knowing of the times and times of time and time. To know the culture of the Cherokee and its ancient design upon life, one must know the things of time and time in order to place the constellation as a rattlesnake or a serpent. But this is another story. 
The stationary outline is always of the rattlesnake. However, upon the wheels of the Cherokee calendar is also found when, where, how, what, and who in its changing and transformation. The transformation is not the changing of the shape of the rattlesnake, but the addition or subtraction of elements upon the snake itself. These things also tell the tales of the universe and all its bearing of what was, what is, and to be. On the Cherokee calendar, a great thing is foretold of things about to take shape within all things upon the earth, the heavens, and the universe. And the rattlesnake constellation is one of those which speaks as a voice of time and time of things to be. Upon the Cherokee calendar rings and written in the star constellation rattlesnake is a prophecy of time and time. And so it is thus foretold. When the earth sees the fingers of spear finger strike Jupiter, when the ages of the rings and wheels tell it is the ending of the ages of cycles of five, this will be the sign for the whole earth, for all the earth will see this thing to wake up from sleep. These fingers that struck Jupiter was the comet fragments that hit Jupiter in the 1990s and the whole earth took of its majesty. This was the sign foretold on the calendar for the Cherokee people to wake up, to come out of sleep. The Cherokee calendar also speaks its voice, telling that at this time of the fingers striking Jupiter, that Orion's star system will awaken, and the Pleiades and Orion will war once again as in the old. Jupiter and Venus will awaken to its destiny of time and time of cycles. Orion will war with Pleiades. Jupiter will war with Venus. The time of the Cherokee Blue Coos will be at hand. In the year 2004 and 2012, an alignment will take place both on the Cherokee calendar and in the heavens of the Rattlesnake constellation, both. It is the time of the double-headed serpent stick. It is the time of the red of Orion and Jupiter against white blue of Pleiades and Venus. It is the time of the Uku's choosing it is the time of the beloved woman and mysteries of time and time. It is the time and time of the thunderbolt and the spirits of lightning mountains. In the year 2004 and 2012, the Cherokee rattlesnake constellation will take on a different configuration. The snake itself will remain, however, upon the rattlesnake head shall be added upon its head feathers. Its eyes will open and glow, wings spring forth as a winged rattlesnake. It shall have hands and arms, and in its hands shall be found a bowl. The bowl will hold blood. Upon its tail of seven rattles shall be the glowing and movement of Pleiades. The rattlesnake shall become a feathered rattlesnake or feathered serpent of time and time. And upon the rattlesnake is also the Milky Way. A crossing of the Milky Way shall be seen at these times. For the center of the universe is what many know as the constellation Sagittarius by modern man.
but upon this constellation is also found the Pleiades star system, which is what is different in the boundary of others and the Cherokee zodiac. The Milky Way is also a tree, stone tree, and upon stone tree is as a tree with a tree trunk, branches, a top, and even roots. The flower and the tree is also a tassel as corn. And upon the flower and the tree is the tree of life, rebirth, renewal, new. And the Cherokee calendar shall end in the year 2012. But upon the times just prior shall be the feathered serpent and its prophecy. Upon the heaven's design, within the Cherokee rattlesnake constellation, it is written, and upon the rings of time and time of the Cherokee calendar, it also says, Behold rattlesnake constellation, and remember. The rings of the Cherokee calendar are read by the winding motion of the rattlesnake to add or to subtract time on time, to move the wheels backward or forward, to add a wheel or to move the rings, to tell the tale what was, what is, and to be. The rattlesnake and its design tells the movement of the rings of time. And in the sky heavens, the motions of the movement of stars, planets, and life tell the tale of its bearing. For all is as the winding of the rattlesnake. And in the year 2004, the morning star shall be the first. And in the year 2012, the evening star shall be first. And upon those years, the crown of the feathered serpent shall bear its colors and honor. The hands shall hold the bowl, and the tail shall be as the roots of a tree, the Pleiades tree of the beginning. And in the year 2004 and 2012 shall be the time and time of the feathered serpent of the sky heavens. And the rings shall turn upon those years of prophecy foretold on the rings of time and time. And Yawahahu Falls, Kentucky shall sing of Venus and the feathered rattlesnake. For this is not all the prophecy, not all the things thereof. For if it was meant for one to know, and I give only part, then you have received a great gift. For if I tell all, and it was not meant for one to know, then I have wasted my breath. For this is a sacred thing, the Venus alignment and the feathered serpent of the heavens. And in the year 2012, the Cherokee calendar ends, and all is reborn. For the feathered rattlesnake comes and shall be seen in the heavens in the year 2004, to 2012. In the south of the Americas, it is related as the coming of Quetzalcoatl, the ancient Cherokee related as the coming of the Pale One once again. The rattlesnake constellation shall appear with the Venus alignment. The stars of the heavens of the Cherokee zodiac the rings of the calendar and the Venus alignment tell the story of a Chickamaugan prophecy, for they all are aligned in the year 2004 to 2012.